Welcome, it's Andy from Andy's Art Lab here. Today we're going to take a look at this old pressure pot and turning it into a vacuum chamber. Now vacuum chambers are used for removing all air from a container and this can be useful when you want to remove air bubbles from liquids such as resin or silicon. You can use any strong steel pot such as a pressure cooking pot to do this conversion. Here's what you'll need, a sheet of acrylic around 20mm thick, that's equivalent to 3 quarters of an inch, a drill bit, I'm using an 11.5mm drill bit which is 7 16th inches, a tap wrench, I'm using half inch tap wrench as my fittings are quarter inch BSP which is the British standard, and you'll also need a silicon sheet, some glue spray and the various fittings. First off, mark the outside of the pot with a pencil or a pen. The acrylic normally comes with a protective sheet that you can peel off later and it provides a good surface for drawing and marking out your measurements. Once marked, add about 10mm or 3 8 of an inch to the markings. This will give you a good amount of clearance from the outside edge of the pot. Now it's time to mark the desired hole which I have made off centre, so just off to the edge and this will allow me to see the resin inside the acrylic when extracting air bubbles using the vacuum. To help lubricate the drill bit and prevent sticking, I use some WD-40 on the acrylic. It's better to take it slow while drilling, adding more WD-40 as needed until you have drilled the hole all the way through. After that, use a tap to create the thread. Apply pressure while slowly threading the tap into the hole. I clamp down the acrylic to the table to keep it steady during this process. Finding information about the appropriate drill bit size and thread tapping can be challenging. For my quarter inch BSP valves I used a 11.5mm drill bit and a an half inch thread. In the US this will be equivalent to a 7 16th drill bit and a quarter inch tap for your MPT fittings. The fittings between BSP and MPT are slightly, have slightly different threads. Tapping the acrylic allows you to install the fittings directly and that makes for a nice tight bond and it helps create that vacuum. The next step is to create an air seal so that the lid can tightly seal to the pot. I use a sheet of silicon for this purpose. Now mark out the edge of the pot onto the silicon, then mark out a small inner circle. I used a bucket of paint to provide a 10mm clearance or 3 8 of an inch and used a knife to cut out that inner circle. To attach the silicon I use some adhesive spray. Spray the adhesive onto the silicon and put a paper towel underneath to catch any excess. Then press the silicon onto the acrylic, aligning it with the mark circle. Now it's time to install the fittings. I used a cross valve, two male to male connectors, along with a couple of stop valves and an air filter. I already had a vacuum valve so I was able to use that along with the other fittings to screw into the acrylic lid. To complete my setup I acquired a second hand vacuum pump. You can find new vacuum pumps on Amazon or most tool centres. I connect the vacuum pump to the valve fittings. I found that using a little Vaseline helped to create a proper seal between the lid and the pot when I first tested it out. Once it's running, test the seal by closing off the ball valves to see if the vacuum chamber will hold its negative pressure. A real fun way to test the functionality of your vacuum chamber is by using a marshmallow. Put the marshmallow into the pressure pot, run the vacuum pump and watch as it expands as the air is sucked out of the marshmallow and the vacuum chamber. This is a really great way to test that the vacuum chamber is running correctly without any leaks. It's also so interesting watching that marshmallow expand and then seeing what happens to it when you let the air back in and it contracts right down. I've now used this vacuum chamber a couple of times for silicon and removing the bubbles from that as well as resin and it's worked perfectly each time. If you found this video helpful and are interested in DIYing your own vacuum chamber then give this video a thumbs up and think about giving me a follow as well as I work on creating art and projects in Andy's Art Lab. 
Thanks for watching.